Kia ora and welcome along to the Monday forecast from us here at Met Service as we look through the rest of today and also in towards the rest of the week as well. Now, the story for the week really is southwesterly winds continue to bring cold air up and across us. And embedded amongst that, you can see these bands of cloud. That's pretty much what we've got coming up for the next few days. And behind those, some showers as well. But that cooler air still bringing in the risk of some snowfall down towards those lower parts of the South Island. As we go through the rest of Monday, you can see this first front moves up and across the North Island, bring some showers in towards those western parts as we head through the daytime. And then through the night, it continues to move northwards up across the North Island, with us still in towards the early hours of Tuesday morning. Down towards the south, you can see another area of low pressure just pushing onto the screen there, wrapping around that a fair number of showers in towards places like Southland and up in towards Dunedin and Clutha as well. And there's still that risk of some snowfall down to around about three or four hundred metres, but you can see it's a rather showery affair, so it's not for everyone, but I think we have still got some showers to watch out for. So we start the day up on the top of the North Island with that front with us, but I think more notable for many of us, particularly where we get those clear skies across those central parts of the country, will be some pretty cold temperatures. Look at those lows back down to below, freezing for parts of Canterbury, minus two there for the likes of Queenstown as well, a cold and frosty morning across many parts of the south and up north we're still looking at fives and sixes but i think we are going to find those temperatures taking a bit of a tumble over the next few days so we can see this band of rain across northland and auckland to start the morning even across in towards tairafti gisborne way that clears away we're left in that southwesterly flow you can see those winds coming in from the south and the west another front embedded in that feature waiting to come towards us towards the end of the day but we are going to find showers skirting those far southeastern corners place like dunedin keeping hold of those showers through the daytime but here's how the North Island looks. There's that wet weather to start there, that band of rainfall in towards the likes of, say, Auckland and Northland. That moves northwards as we head in towards the morning, keeping hold of a fair bit of cloud, but you can see there is a bit of brightness back down towards the south. We've got still those showers though running towards, particularly those western parts of our patch and down towards Wellington, at least through the daytime, but they should ease off as we head through the night. And generally, it's a lot clearer as we head through the nighttime Tuesday and in towards the early hours of Wednesday. That's going to have a real knock-on impact on our temperatures across the North Island. So daytime highs still up to around about 13 degrees Celsius there. You can see up through Auckland and Northland. But our nighttime lows back down towards freezing for those central parts of the North Island, even down towards Wellington. Two degrees Celsius set for us in the capital, a cold and frosty start as we head through towards Wednesday. For the South Island, we have still got some clearer skies through parts of Marlborough and Canterbury. You can see though that where that low pressure system is out towards the east, wrapping around that there's those clouds and those showers that continue to feed in towards those southern parts and still with that hint of wintry weather about the tops of the ranges there. Now I think we are going to find it's a rather showery story on and off through the daytime through Southland and Clutha, but you can see up towards most of Canterbury it's a dry day. However, if you're heading across towards Akaroa, out towards Banks Peninsula, you may catch one or two of those showers as we head through the daytime. Top temperatures as we go through the daytime, well, just about making it into double figures for many spots, but only just 10 degrees Celsius for Christchurch. And look at those overnight temperatures widely back down below freezing, a cold and frosty night as we head through and towards the early hours of Wednesday morning. But for Wednesday itself, we are going to find there's plenty of dry weather across the north and you can see down south though as these fronts run northwards they will be introducing a fair bit of snow across parts of southland otago the canterbury high country and even up in towards some of those ranges of marlborough as well so it's worth keeping an eye on the severe weather outlook there could be the risk of some heavier snowfall up about those ranges those central spine of the south side particularly worth noting that for those road snowfall warnings, so those higher passes, places like Linders and Lewis. But I think we are going to find by the end of the day on Wednesday into the night time, that rain transfers on towards the north. And again, worth keeping an eye on those uh, forecasts of places like the Desert Road. Could be some heavier snowfall above about 800 metres for the North Island. But I think it is, I think, going to be a bit of a cold week coming up with some chilly temperatures. A quick look at how things pan through for Thursday. That front continues to move away, looking out for that area of uh, higher pressure building towards us. And for Friday, things generally are looking much, much more settled. And that's it from me. This is from metservice.com.